The European Center for Particle Research, CERN, is unveiling details of a new particle accelerator today, something three times larger and twice as deep. It has discovered three new particles which could help us learn how our universe was born and what its future looks like. Scientists at CERN have just unveiled findings that turn our understanding of the universe on its head. Beneath the surface of their groundbreaking experiments lies a world of particles and forces so bizarre they could be straight out of science fiction. From potential gateways to other dimensions to particles that challenge the very foundations of reality, what mysterious secrets are hidden within these experiments? Let's dive into the world of CERN and unravel the truths that could redefine our universe. The gateway to new dimensions? A wormhole could theoretically appear out of nowhere in the sky, and the reason would be the groundbreaking experiments conducted at CERN, home of the Large Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's largest and most powerful particle accelerator, located near Geneva straddling the border between Switzerland and France. There are secrets about this strange organization that the world does not know of, secrets that could possibly change how we view physics and the universe. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, operates this massive scientific instrument. It stretches over 27 kilometers and sits deep underground. The primary function of the Large Hadron Collider is to allow physicists to test the predictions of different theories of particle physics. This includes the high-profile investigation of the standard model of particle physics, which helps us understand the fundamental building blocks of the universe. At its core, the Large Hadron Collider works by accelerating protons to nearly the speed of light before smashing them together. These collisions produce a shower of new particles which scientists study to gain insights into the laws of nature. It was through such experiments that the Higgs boson, often referred to as the God particle, was discovered in 2012. This discovery helped confirm how particles gain mass and was a pivotal moment in particle physics. The experiments conducted at the Large Hadron Collider are crucial for understanding phenomena that occur under extreme conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. The data collected can tell us more about how the universe started and evolved, and about the basic constituents of matter. This makes the Large Hadron Collider a player in potentially uncovering new dimensions of reality, dimensions that could clarify mysteries surrounding dark matter and the fundamental forces of nature. Such advanced experimentation at CERN does not come without concerns. Some speculate about high-energy experiments creating black holes or strange matter that could pose risks to Earth. However, CERN ensures that all safety measures are met, and the scientific community closely monitors these experiments. Studies and theoretical models confirm that any risky scenarios are highly unlikely. Through its ongoing research and discoveries, CERN helps us understand the universe better and demonstrates the incredible capability of human ingenuity and collaboration in the pursuit of knowledge. Unveiling the LHC, humanity's modern marvel, the Large Hadron Collider at CERN is not merely an impressive piece of technology. It is a marvel of modern science and engineering. Situated beneath the Swiss-French border, the Large Collider runs through a tunnel 27 kilometers in circumference and as deep as 175 meters underground. This makes it the largest particle collider in the world and one of the most significant instruments in the field of particle physics. The structure of the Large Hadron Collider is designed to handle experiments of unprecedented scale. The main ring of the collider, housed in a tunnel with a diameter of 3.8 meters, contains two adjacent parallel beam pipes. Each pipe directs protons in opposite directions, accelerated by a series of superconducting magnets. These magnets are crucial for maintaining the path of the protons, bending their trajectory at speeds close to that of light. Surrounding the beam pipes are layers of cooling systems that maintain a temperature colder than outer space, necessary to keep the superconducting magnets at their required operating temperature. The scale of the Large Hadron Collider is further highlighted by its use of thousands of magnets, including 1232 dipole magnets to bend the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets to focus them. The largest and most powerful superconducting magnets used are 15 meters long and weigh 35 tons each, showcasing the immense physical scale and technological ambition behind the Large Hadron Collider. The primary purpose of the Large Hadron Collider is to explore the fundamentals of the universe by observing the smallest components of matter. By accelerating particles to nearly the speed of light and then colliding them, 
the Large Hadron Collider allows physicists to study the resulting particles that are produced during these collisions. This process helps in testing and expanding our understanding of the standard model of particle physics, which is the current best description of the subatomic world. One of the key objectives behind the Large Hadron Collider's experiments is to uncover the mysteries of the Higgs boson. Its discovery at CERN in 2012 confirmed theories about how particles gain mass. The Large Hadron Collider also investigates other fundamental particles and forces, aiming to address critical questions such as the existence of dark matter and the nature of the universe shortly after the Big Bang. Furthermore, the Large Hadron Collider seeks to verify the presence of new particles that theoretical physics predicts but has not yet observed. These experiments are essential for possibly discovering new physics beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and dimensions beyond the familiar three spatial dimensions. The vision behind the Large Hadron Collider is not merely to understand the universe's building blocks but to foster international collaboration. With thousands of scientists from over 100 countries working together, the Large Hadron Collider is proof of global cooperation in the quest for knowledge. The Large Hadron Collider's structure and scale enable it to tackle some of the most serious questions in physics. Its purpose extends beyond mere scientific curiosity, aiming to deepen our understanding of the universe and inspire worldwide collaboration in science. Through this enormous and intricate apparatus, humanity continues to push the boundaries of what is known journey into the quantum realm, but how does the Large Hadron Collider really work? At the heart of CERN's research facilities, the Large Hadron Collider serves as a powerful microscope into the quantum realm, allowing scientists to observe and study the fundamental particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of particle acceleration and collision at the Large Hadron Collider is a key method for probing the foundations of physics. Inside the collider, two high-energy particle beams travel at nearly the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, mimicking the conditions of outer space. Superconducting electromagnets, chilled to temperatures colder than space, guide and focus the beams at designated collision points along the tunnel. These beams intersect, smashing particles together with immense energy. The collisions produce a variety of subatomic particles, some of which are highly unstable and exist only for fractions of a second. To detect and analyze the byproducts of these collisions, the Large Hadron Collider is equipped with massive detectors. ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB, each designed for specific kinds of research. These detectors capture data about the particles, including their mass, charge, and momentum. This data helps physicists test predictions of particle physics theories including the standard model, and explore particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the most significant findings at the Large Hadron Collider was the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012. This particle, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is crucial because it provides evidence for the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to elementary particles. The existence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the standard model, and its discovery was a monumental achievement confirming long-standing theoretical predictions. Beyond the Higgs boson, the Large Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in discovering a range of other particles. For instance, the collider has provided evidence for the existence of pentaquarks and confirmed the existence of tetraquarks, particles made up of four and five quarks, respectively, which had not been observed before. These discoveries expand our understanding of hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force, the force that holds the nuclei of atoms together. These findings show the predictive power of the standard model and also open new avenues of research in particle physics, offering insights into the behavior of matter under extreme conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. Theoretical dangers. Science or science fiction. As the capabilities of the Large Hadron Collider expand, so do the theories about its potential risks. Two of the most discussed theoretical dangers associated with the Large Hadron Collider are the creation of strangelets and the potential to spawn micro-black holes. These scenarios have captured public interest and scientific scrutiny alike. Strangelets are a theoretical form of matter that is more stable than ordinary matter. The hypothesis suggests that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear associated with this theory is that if strangelets were produced during particle collisions at the Large Hadron Collider, 
they could potentially trigger a catastrophic chain reaction, converting all matter on Earth into strange matter. However, extensive research and safety assessments conducted by CERN and the global scientific community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that if strangelets could indeed exist and were produced at the Large Hadron Collider, they would likely be highly unstable and decay too quickly to cause any transformation of Earth's matter. Additionally, cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles from space, regularly strike the Earth with energies much higher than those produced by the Large Hadron Collider without producing any strangelets. This natural experiment suggests that strangelets are not a credible threat. The idea that the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, could create micro-black hole stems from theories of extra dimensions in physics. According to certain theoretical models, the high-energy collisions within the LHC could produce tiny black holes that would evaporate almost instantly due to a process known as Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. Experts agree that if micro-black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no threat. First, any such black holes would be incredibly small and short-lived, evaporating before they could interact with surrounding matter. Second, the energies involved in LHC collisions, although immense by human standards, are still significantly lower than the cosmic ray collisions that occur naturally. Since no dangerous micro-black holes have been observed from cosmic ray interactions, it is highly unlikely that the LHC would produce any harmful effects. CERN, along with independent committees, conducts rigorous safety reviews to ensure that the experiments conducted at the LHC pose no threat to humanity or the planet. These reviews incorporate theoretical studies, experimental data, and safety guidelines to address any potential risks. While the LHC's experiments continue to push the boundaries of our understanding of physics, they are conducted with a high level of responsibility and scientific oversight. This ensures that humanity can benefit from groundbreaking discoveries without facing undue risk. The theoretical dangers often sound more like science fiction than plausible scientific outcomes. The scientific consensus, based on comprehensive research and natural cosmic events, is that the experiments at the Large Hadron Collider are safe and that the potential risks are minimal. The strangest experiment. One of the most intriguing and unconventional experiments proposed at CERN is the search for magnetic monopoles. A magnetic monopole is a hypothetical particle that is a magnet with only one magnetic pole, either a north pole or a south pole. In contrast, ordinary magnets always have both a north and a south pole. The existence of magnetic monopoles was predicted by physicist Paul Dirac in 1931, who demonstrated that their existence would explain why electric charge is quantized, meaning it only comes in discrete amounts. Despite their theoretical importance, magnetic monopoles have never been observed. At the Large Hadron Collider, researchers have been looking for evidence of these elusive particles. If found, magnetic monopoles would revolutionize our understanding of magnetic fields, and could lead to significant advancements in technology, including the development of new forms of energy storage and transmission. Additionally, the discovery of magnetic monopoles would provide experimental evidence for grand unified theories and string theories, which attempt to explain all fundamental forces of nature within a single framework. While the search for magnetic monopoles might seem esoteric, it exemplifies the spirit of exploration and curiosity that drives scientific inquiry at CERN. The quest for such rare and potentially groundbreaking particles reflects the Institute's commitment to probing the unknown and expanding the frontiers of human knowledge. Another unusual experiment at the Large Hadron Collider involves investigating the potential existence of particles that could travel faster than the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. However, some theoretical models suggest that particles called tachyons could exist which would always move faster than light. Detecting tachyons would fundamentally challenge our understanding of space-time and causality. While most physicists are skeptical about the existence of tachyons, the search for such particles at the Large Hadron Collider is a testament to the facility's openness to exploring even the most speculative aspects of theoretical physics. The Large Hadron Collider also enables scientists to conduct experiments that mimic conditions of the early universe immediately following the Big Bang. These high-energy collisions create a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, which existed just microseconds after the Big Bang. By studying this plasma, physicists hope to better understand how the universe evolved from its initial high-energy state into the complex and structured cosmos we observe today.
In essence, these unconventional experiments at CERN, ranging from searching for magnetic monopoles to creating quark-gluon plasma, underscore the breadth and ambition of the scientific research conducted at the Large Hadron Collider. They illustrate how CERN is pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe and exploring new realms of physics that were previously considered purely theoretical. Colliding Futures The Large Hadron Collider's ultimate purpose is to push the frontiers of human knowledge, unraveling the mysteries of the universe by colliding particles at unprecedented energies. It allows scientists to explore the fundamental nature of matter and the forces governing the universe. This relentless pursuit of understanding the unknown reflects humanity's innate curiosity and desire to explore. The discoveries made at the Large Hadron Collider have far-reaching implications for our comprehension of the cosmos. By probing the smallest building blocks of matter and the fundamental forces at play, these experiments deepen our understanding of the universe's origins, evolution, and ultimate fate. They offer insights into the very fabric of reality and help address some of the most profound questions about existence. Moreover, the technological advancements and scientific breakthroughs resulting from the Large Hadron Collider's research have practical applications beyond particle physics. The development of advanced detectors, computing systems, and data analysis techniques has contributed to progress in various fields, including medicine, material science, and information technology. The Large Hadron Collider's experiments also foster international collaboration and inspire a new generation of scientists. Researchers worldwide work together, sharing knowledge and expertise to unlock the universe's secrets. This global cooperation is a testament to the power of science to transcend boundaries and bring people together in the pursuit of knowledge. In conclusion, the Large Hadron Collider is a cornerstone of modern physics, enabling groundbreaking discoveries and pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe. Its experiments reveal the nature of fundamental particles, forces, and the origins of matter, providing invaluable insights into the mysteries of existence. Through its technological innovations and international collaborations, the Large Hadron Collider exemplifies the spirit of scientific inquiry and the limitless potential of human curiosity. As we continue to explore the cosmos through the Large Hadron Collider, we move closer to answering some of the most profound questions about our universe and our place within it.